Hey everyone, so I just want to show you guys how I preserve my curls. This is actually three day old curls. Um, I'll show you guys. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but I don't really style it today. I just took off my bonnet and left it. And I was actually really, really surprised that my hair didn't get um, like crushed or the curls didn't fall. But anyways, um, I'll show you guys like a few pieces. If you guys can see that. Some pieces or I don't know. Alright, so the bonnet that I'm going to be using is this one. And I did a review on this bonnet. If you guys haven't seen it, I will definitely link it right here. This is my bonnet from Ebony Curls. And it's a really, really cute bonnet. And as you guys can see, I really love the pattern. Because you guys can see my bed. And there's also a few other things in my room that you guys will see in my room tour that have the same pattern. Alright? So how I preserve my curls is that I like to use a really, really big bonnet. Something that is 100% silk. And it's really great quality. And if you guys want to check out Ebony Curls' bonnet, I will leave her link below. Alright, so this is my bonnet. Really big, really pretty. I'm going to show you guys how I put this on and preserve my curls. This is the bonnet. It's like gigantic, but it's perfect. Alright, so I'm just going to turn. I hope you guys can see my curls. They're really springy. Oh. Also, I want to show you guys like the shrinkage. Well, not really shrinkage, but the, yeah, curlage, whatever. Anyway, so you can see my curls are at my shoulders, and I'm going to pull this one down. Like, look at that. Whoop. It's crazy. Anyways, um, here's my bonnet. So what I do is basically remove my bobby pins and whatever. All I do is flip my head over, push all the hair to the front, then I take my bonnet and try to get as much hair into the bonnet as I as I can. Then any hair that is sticking out, I expand the bonnet and tuck them in neatly, making sure to get all sides. Then I push the excess bonnet to the back of your head. And just like that. So now all my curls are right here. Another way you can do it is doing the pineapple method, where you take a hair tie, you wrap it around your your curls, and then you put on a silk or satin scarf, which I'll show you guys. Alright, so the other way you can preserve your curls is by using hair ties, and this is a silky hair tie. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's really silky, and this will help protect my curls, and I'm using a silky scarf. So all you have to do is push all your hair to the top of your head. I don't really want to do it because my curls are a little bit tighter. So just imagine my hair is all the way up here. All I do is take my hair tie and wrap it on my curls just one time. And then, so my hair will be up in a big little curly afro up here. So I take my scarf. And I wrap it around the outside of that curly ponytail. That's all you do. And then you go straight to bed so that the only thing is that the sides will be a little bit flatter but the curls will still be at the very top if you guys saw my previous video where my curls were at the bottom of my hair just at the very end um, that's a really good way to preserve your curls by using this method the scarf method which is called the pineapple method um, the method that I used with my bonnet I have no idea what it's called but it worked really, really well for me. And yeah. That's how I protect my curls at night. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.